The term Ayurveda comes from the ancient Indian language of Sanskrit. Ayus means life and Veda is knowledge or wisdom. The wisdom of life reaches back over 5,000 years to the early Indus Valley civilization. Disease and epidemics had ravaged the realm, prompting the rishis, or wise men, to retreat to the Himalayan mountains to meditate on the secrets of eternal health. Their findings formed the basis of Ayurveda. This developed into an entire body of medical teachings, which, over time, spread throughout the Indian subcontinent as far as Sri Lanka. Supported by the state under the Sinhalese kings and with its writings carefully safeguarded in Buddhist monasteries, Ayurveda gained great prestige. Traditional Ayurvedic practitioners enjoyed a high social standing. But the colonization of Sri Lanka in the 16th century brought an abrupt end to this Ayurvedic heyday. Together with everything else native, the wisdom of life was deemed backward and inferior and was gradually ousted by Western medicine. But beneath the surface, Ayurveda continued to exist. In remote villages, traditional doctors continued to practice their medicine on rural folk. And in the Buddhist monasteries, which had always been sanctuaries of medical learning, the wisdom of life was fostered and maintained. Independence in 1948 brought with it the gradual revival of traditional healing methods. Today, Sri Lanka is the only country in the world with its own Ayurveda ministry. <laughs> 